this what conquering is? Hiding from the fight? Oh no. So getting all hyped up about something going down in DC with Justice League 2 isn't exactly what we're hoping for. It looks like the most probable scenario for Justice League 2, or whatever they're planning next in that universe, is more of a fresh start than a direct follow-up. Think along the lines of how James Gunn took on the Suicide Squad. And hey, speaking of it, here's a sneak peek at what's brewing for Justice League 2. With Ben Affleck stepping down as Batman, though he's making a cameo in The Flash, and Henry Cavill bidding adieu to his Superman cape after his Black Adam stint, things are shaking up. There's a possibility DC might push forward with Justice League 2 without these two heavyweights, but that'd be like having a peanut butter sandwich without the peanut butter. They're core members of the team, after all. If they do go ahead, DC might have to shuffle the cast around, keeping Gal Gadot's Wonder Woman and Jason Momoa's Aquaman, among others. But that's bound to be a puzzling move for fans. It seems like we'll have to wait a little while longer for a new Justice League flick. But hey, with Warner Brothers finally finding their superhero groove at the box office, who knows? They might just surprise us with another team down the line. With that being said, Zack Snyder's original Justice League plan. Spoiler alert for those who haven't seen it yet. In Snyder's version, just like in the original Justice League, our heroes face off against Steppenwolf to prevent him from uniting the mother boxes. After a bit of a hiccup where the Flash has to do a time reset, they manage to take down Steppenwolf with Wonder Woman delivering the final blow by beheading him as he gets sent back to Apocalypse through a portal. But here's the kicker. Darkseid, DC's version of Thanos, plays a much bigger role in Snyder's vision. He vows to come to Earth, ready to take down our heroes and claim the anti-life equation. And it doesn't stop there. Snyder dives into the nightmare scenario, that dark apocalyptic future we first glimpsed in Batman vs. Superman. Bruce Wayne wakes up from this nightmarish vision only to have a heart-to-heart -heart with Martian Manhunter, who promises to lend a hand in the impending war. Originally, Green Lantern was supposed to be the one chatting with Bruce Wayne instead of Martian Manhunter, but due to some behind-the-scenes issues, Snyder couldn't use the scene featuring Wayne T. Carr as Jon Stewart. Who knows, though? Maybe Stewart will make an appearance in a potential sequel. Snyder's initial Justice League plan would have been akin to the Avengers Infinity War and Endgame storyline, where our heroes face defeat, only to rise up for an epic final showdown aided by a bit of time travel. But let's hear it straight from Snyder himself. He described the sequels to the New York Times, detailing the fall of Earth, Superman's struggle against anti-life, and Flash's time travel mission to prevent it all. Then picture this, a massive battle where Earth's forces, including Atlanteans and Themyscirans, come together to take on Darkseid's invasion. It's like a grand symphony building up to an epic crescendo. It's a grand plan that would surely thrill Snyder's fans, but for now, we'll have to settle for Snyder's descriptions. Who knows, maybe one day we'll see it all unfold on the big screen. At the moment, it seems like Snyder's revamped Justice League will be the final frontier for his vision of the team. Despite his original plans for more movies, Snyder himself has stated that he's got a lot on his plate and no concrete plans to continue this world. However, he's not closing the door entirely, saying, But like I said, I didn't think I'd be here, so who knows? For Warner Brothers, Snyder's Justice League is seen as a storytelling dead end, something that won't be continued. Snyder echoes this sentiment, referring to it as the last movie I make for the DCU in an interview with the New York Times. Even though it ends on a cliffhanger, Snyder insists it's not a setup for more movies. But remember, until May 2020, nobody thought we'd even see Snyder's definitive Justice League cut, so never say never. With plans for the multiverse in the works, there's a possibility Snyder's world could continue without interfering with others. Yet, even if Snyder did want to helm another Justice League flick, whether a sequel or something multiverse-related, he's got a laundry list of other projects to tackle first. There's Rebel Moon, his Netflix space fantasy, and a potential Army of the Dead sequel in the pipeline. Snyder's hinted at a shared universe between these projects, teasing crossover potential, so who knows what surprises he might have in store down the line. With that said, Justice League 2 would have taken a dramatic turn, with Darkseid, Steppenwolf's boss, arriving on Earth to battle Superman. During this intense conflict, Superman entrusts Batman with protecting Lois Lane. However, a tip from Luthor would lead to Darkseid killing Lois after Batman gets distracted. This storyline could have hinted at a romantic connection between Lois and Batman while Superman was thought to be dead. With Lois gone, Superman would lose his will to fight, 
making him susceptible to Darkseid's control through the anti-life equation, resulting in the deaths of Wonder Woman, Aquaman, and many others. This tragic scenario was glimpsed during the nightmare sequence in Zack Snyder's Justice League, where the surviving heroes faced a corrupted Superman. Zack Snyder's Justice League 3 was set to unfold primarily in the nightmare future, with Batman and the remaining heroes desperately trying to undo this dark reality. Their plan involved using the Flash to travel back in time, to warn Batman and prevent the dystopian future from happening. The timing for this mission had to be perfect, as they needed Earth to be in a specific position and a failure would mean waiting another year to try again. They constructed a cosmic treadmill for the Flash to use for time travel, hoping he could reach the past and give Bruce the crucial information to stop Darkseid's reign. However, Superman nearly foils their plan by discovering their location and killing all the remaining Justice League members, except for the Flash, who manages to travel back in time. Thanks to Barry's intervention, the events of the previous installment would be erased. Superman would learn from Lois about Luthor's Injustice League and stop them before they could kill Wonder Woman and Aquaman. But Darkseid would still attempt to kill Lois by boom tuning to their location. This time, Batman would sacrifice himself to save Lois, preventing Superman from succumbing to Darkseid's control. This heroic act would force Darkseid to retreat, though it wouldn't mark his ultimate end. The final showdown in Snyder's Justice League 3 would be a grand Lord of the Rings-inspired battle. The Justice League, alongside the forces of Themyscira, Atlantis, Earth's military and the Green Lantern Corps, would unite against Darkseid and his apocalypse forces. This climactic battle would feature Cyborg overloading and destroying the Mother Boxes, weakening Darkseid. Batman would then make the ultimate sacrifice, taking down Darkseid after being fatally hit by his Omega Beam. Regarding Darkseid's future in the DCEU, it remains uncertain. Originally, he was slated to appear in Ava DuVernay's New Gods, but that project, along with James Wan's Aquaman spin-off The Trench, was cancelled. While the Snyder Cut gives fans a glimpse of Darkseid, Warner Brothers appears focused on individual franchises and developing the DC multiverse, making it unlikely we'll see Snyder's sequels anytime soon. Even though Zack Snyder's plans for Justice League 2 and 3 might never come to life on the big screen, they could still find new homes in other media. Snyder mentioned to Vanity Fair that he's open to turning his Justice League storylines into a book or integrating them into DC Comics. This would allow fans to finally see the complete arc he envisioned addressing many of the unanswered questions from Zack Snyder's Justice League. However, it seems unlikely that James Gunn and Peter Safran would bring Snyder back to develop these stories within the new DC Universe, as their focus is on charting a new direction. And that's that for today's video. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next one. Your suggestions for future videos are always welcome in the comments below.